Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this look today, I'm going to be using the Soap Culture by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know that in videos, there's a lot of good and bad with this palette. Mostly bad, but I still wanted to try it out and I still use it because I know some of you guys may, may have this lying around and it does create some good looks. You just have a lot of fallout, which is the down part of it but you can still create some good looks with it. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so starting off, I'm gonna use the Professional and I'm gonna apply that on my face. I already went ahead and did my eyebrows, as you can see. So I'm just putting this to set and get everything ready for the foundation. This is one of my favorite primers. I've already went through like three bottles. I Every time I get birthday gifts, I always request these because these are like pretty good. So alrighty, so next up I'm going to prime my lids. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay. Now I like all the Urban Decays that I, so far the ones that I've tried. I've tried the original the eden and i believe i've had the sin one as well and all of them work really well so i really just like the urban decay primers and i'm just gonna apply that on my lids and i'm just gonna use my finger to spread it out and just pat it in as well now i just painted my nails yesterday so um they might not be like perfect usually i get them all over my skin but just so you guys know <laughs> now there's definitely a lot of good and bad with this palette so um a lot of people do say that there's a ton of fallout which I agree like if you tap it there's a lot of fallout so you have to be very very careful um, but I think it works just as good as the other palettes it's just that it has a lot of fallout so just be super super careful like you have to go in with the super light hand so I'm gonna start off with this color Dawn right here on the top kind of create that base as well So now I'm going to take a blending brush and this is the Morphe brush that I'm going to be using and this is the M513. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that color called Destiny. It's right there. And you just have to be very careful because there's a lot of fallout. So I wanted to do green because I'm wearing green. <laughs> I always do that every time I'm doing my makeup, whatever color I'm wearing, whether it's my shirt, like the color of something that I'm wearing just makes me get inspired to wear that color. So, so I'm doing a green look today. So I ended up buying a GoPro. I At first I wasn't really into GoPros, um, but uh, one of the comments was like to do some vlogs and I, didn't really think about that until that came up and I'm like maybe I should do some vlogs that'd be pretty cool you know I I mean I have some upcoming trips and that would be fun to vlog the whole trip and also just vlog some fun stuff that we do um I guess I really didn't think about it because my life is kind of boring <laughs> I don't really do much so I will go ahead and start working on that um i just ordered the memory card because i guess if you just buy the gopro it doesn't come with a memory card and you can't even film anything on the gopro without a memory card so i had to order that separate so that's still coming in so yeah now i'm gonna take this color called untamed it's this one right here and i'm gonna apply that right beneath that other right beneath that destiny color So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Coco Lashes. Coco Lashes are my favorite lashes and they're 
inexpensive. They are about uh, seven, six to eight bucks. Um, they kind of look like this. They come in this kind of packaging. So these are my favorite ones to wear. I love, let me show you guys my favorite out of all of them. and as you can see they are just so beautiful and this is in goddess i actually buy these from this website called lady moss and on that website you can um you can buy different kinds of lashes not just those so going in with another brush this is the morphe and jacqueline hale brush and this is the jh33 brush and i'm going to use this brush so i can grab some of this fudge color here and I'm going to use that to put on the outer ends. So I'm just taking that concealer and I'm just going to apply it there. So I had to change concealer brushes because that concealer brush, I think the bristles are starting to kind of wear out so the concealer are all over the place. So I just grabbed another one. So this is actually a Morphe one, a Morphe 421 brush. And that's going to be the one I'm going to be using for the concealer because this one I have better control over. So the trip that we're taking, my husband and I, is we're actually going to go to Hawaii. So we have my friends getting married there and we're going to go celebrating with her. But I've never been to Hawaii, so this is going to be so exciting for all of us. And my husband has been there before, but I haven't. So I'm super excited. Like, I think I'm overly excited. I'm buying stuff I shouldn't probably be buying because I'm just trying to prepare for this trip. So later on, I'll do a little video on what I'm going to be bringing all my makeup essentials that I will be bringing on the trip so I'll keep you guys updated on that video adorned so it's this shimmery bronzy color and I'm going to just use my fingers to apply that Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to apply that on my lashes. I'm not going to be applying a liner just because I still want the colors to show through. Going in with my favorite pair of lashes, I'm going to go in with the Goddess by Coco. Okay, so while my lashes are drying, I am going to do the same thing where I just fill in the gaps in between. So it looks like it's all connected. I'm going to go back in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And this is in the color Shell Beige. I would say it's almost like the same color. It's just a tiny bit darker. So I think if I do end up buying like the full size, I'll just have to go with just a tiny bit lighter because that way it matches it'll match my my neck area i'm gonna mix it up today with just my um tart this is the amazonian clay mask or clay clay foundation i'm sorry and this is in the color light sand and i'm just applying that because again the the shade is just a little bit darker, so I just want to mix it up. So it's my shade with a beauty blender. For my last video, you guys saw it was yellow, and now it's like brown. <laughs> my beauty blenders get dirty so fast because I'm always putting on foundation, concealer, doing everything with the beauty blender. And 
and yeah i go through them like crazy so that's why i have backups because i um i usually buy like a bunch of them during like the holiday seasons usually in the holiday seasons they have like the full packs and there's like i don't know six of them or something like six or twelve of them in the huge box and they're like about 200 bucks or something but then you get like um sephora usually has like a sale like a a sale if you're like a vip and a rouge member you get like a certain percentage off so if you do the math and you buy that that comes out to almost like 10 or 11 bucks a beauty blender which the beauty blenders are usually like twenty dollars a piece so i mean it's a good deal for the long run like if you buy them in bulks like that so that's why i have i still have like six of them left i believe before i run out and have to buy new ones which will last me the rest of the year that's not an issue and then that way i i'll now just restock when they have that sale again so I've been watching that show on Netflix, the Mary Kondo, or Kondo, the one that um, organizes and cleans. And it's so funny because everything that she does in that video, I already do, except for the whole folding the clothes, which is something that I learned in that show. But it, it was quite interesting because a lot of the things that they say, like, you know, stuff that you don't use, like get rid of it, donate it give it away i do that all the time i hate clutteredness so my house if you were to come to my house you would see that everything is organized everything is where it should be there's no no more than what needs to be there because i don't like to have clutteredness at all so everywhere that you look at my house it's stuff that we use constantly or there's a there's a few things that maybe i won't use but it's like a memory but it's only like a small amount like i don't have like a you know millions of memories around the house so yeah but yeah i just don't like clutterness at all the only thing i will hoard though for sure is makeup but that's different you know so but even with makeup actually to be honest with you um all of my makeup that i have oh by the way this is the naked um this is the Naked Concealer, and this is by Urban Decay. So even with my makeup, though, I do go through it, though, occasionally, and I just get rid of stuff that I just don't use. Um, but then there's obviously palettes that I love and I still use, and or palettes that I may not use as much, but they're still a good palette, and I still want to keep them. So yeah, but then there's, you know, definitely foundation, but there's definitely makeup that I don't use and that i always give it to like my family my friends so yeah all right so for concealer i'm gonna go in with the la girl pro concealer and this is in the color toast i'm just gonna apply that i'm gonna go in with this jaclyn hill brush and this is the jh zero h brush and i'm just gonna mix that in use the jaclyn hill morphe the jh10 and it looks like this this is so perfect for contouring your nose look at that simple I like this brush. Now I'm gonna go in and set it with my Laura Mercier powder. Dust it off using just a big brush here. And this one's also from Jaclyn Hill. This is a big brush. This is the JH01. It's massive. Bula Bronzer by Benefit, and this is the just the sample size. And using a big brush, this is also another Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the number two. I bought her whole collection. I love her brushes. So good. 
I'm just gonna take this Urban Decay Illuminating Face and Body Shimmer Powder. I'm just taking a big brush. It's gonna highlight those areas. A small brush, and this is just a brush by Luxie, and this is the 229 tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna use that to apply some of the shadow on my lower lashes here. So this color, which is the one right there in the corner. And this is like a bluish, greenish color. But on my lower lashes. I'm gonna use this glitter liner and this is the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eye Pencil. And this is in the color Space Dust, so it looks like that. Apply that on my... I'm gonna just apply that. And some of the Versalia, and I'm gonna apply that on my lips, and then I'll go in with a lip color. Take Verona by Ofra, and I'm gonna apply that on my lips. Smashbox primer water on my face. And then once this dries, I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, and that will be it. Here. And that does complete this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get upcoming notifications of my videos. We'll see you next time.